Right now to Forbes' annual ranking of the world's 100 most powerful women. The 17th annual ranking recognizes the trailblazers who are deftly steering countries, constituents, and communities through one of the most tumultuous times in modern history. Some of the highlights for the 10th consecutive year, German Chancellor Angela Merkel takes the number one spot. And amid the global pandemic, it is no surprise the list includes leaders who have reshaped their respective industries, including UPS CEO Carol Tomei and Clorox, Clorox executive Linda Rendell. And new to the top three this year is Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, who will serve as the first female Vice President of the United States and is the first black and Indian American to hold the position. To coincide with the list's launch, later today, Forbes is hosting the 2020 Forbes Power Women Summit, which will spotlight the women who can harness the power of this pivotal moment in time. And it's worth noting that the vast majority of the distinguished women on that list are at least 78 uh, of them are 50 or older. That distinguishing, distinguishing factor includes every single woman is in the top 27 of that list, over 50. Know Your Value in partnership with Forbes is gearing up to celebrate 50 diverse women over the age of 50 who have achieved significant success later in life, often by overcoming formidable odds or barriers. The project will coincide with uh, much of the world reopening in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic in this past year, if anything, has opened up the idea of what is possible and the need to use undertapped talent. In fact, women over 55 are the fastest growing age and gender workforce category. 3.6 million women over 55 will be added to the U.S. workforce by 2026. And that's why I'm so inspired by this partnership with Forbes. Joining us now, Chief Content Officer of Forbes Media and Editor of Forbes, Randall Lane. Randall, let's talk about the top 100, the power list. Uh, first of all, people who have, women who have stood out during this pandemic are, are really heading up a lot of the names on this list. Tell us about them. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great list. And like you said, the 17th annual, we're seeing movement. We see movement up and we see movement down. We see people, we see philanthropists like Lorraine Powell Jobs. We see people, change makers like Stacey Abrams. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. This is a moment of change. And so we see Kamala Harris up. We see Nancy Pelosi, who's seemingly terminating herself, moving down. But we're seeing change agents uh, who are making the list very vibrant. And we have Angela Merkel on top again, uh, and deservedly so. But throughout the list, you're seeing, and, and, and like you said, the top 20, top 27, all over 50. So it's women with experience, women who've seen the world, uh, who are making a real change. Yes. And talk about Angela Merkel staying power 10 times at the top. She's never, listen, she's never been more powerful in some ways. For the last four years, she's arguably been the leader of the free world uh, in the sense that the United States has, with an American, you know, President Trump's America First policy has looked within. She's been the internationalist. And so she, this is somebody who, You'd think long into her run, her power would be waning, but in some ways it's only strengthened where she really is looked to, certainly in Europe and you know, a lot throughout the world, uh, as the, the beacon of internationalism. And uh, so here's somebody who's taking her power and, uh, and every year layering it on, uh, expanding it, and, uh, and she remains as powerful as ever. Claire McCaskill, jump in. First, I, I just think it's terrific as somebody who is clearly north of 50 that you are recognizing that <laughs> age equals power when it comes to women. And I am uh, I'm, I'm tickled pink about that. Uh, talk a little bit about the business leaders on this list. Um, we, this is a new thing in America that you're really seeing women move into boardrooms in a powerful way, changing the, the makeup of corporate boards to have more women on those boards. Talk about the, the business presence and the power of that on this particular list. 100% correct. And you see what NASDAQ did uh, earlier this month saying that they're going to 
potentially delist companies that don't have at least one woman board member. So you're going to see more of that. So, you know, kind of the epitome of that is something like Mary Barra, uh, who at number 16, uh, the CEO of GM, uh, we're seeing uh, dozens of uh, women move up through the corporate power structure. But we're, really what we're excited about at Forbes is, as a, you know, for over a hundred years celebrating entrepreneurship are the women who are doing it themselves, who are entrepreneurs, who are making change happen themselves. And even today, uh, later today at our Power Women Summit, we have people like Melinda Gates, who's so instrumental, um, you know, in top five on our list, but so when she'll be speaking, and so instrumental at the Melinda Gates Foundation. We have Gwen Shotwell, who uh, is president of SpaceX. So you have, you have we have Tori Birch speaking later today, who founded her own company. So it's it's not just, which is amazing, you see women rising up through the ranks, but it's women who are making it happen themselves. And that's also what's exciting about the 50 Over 50 project, is that right now we're at a moment between remote work, work from home, uh, direct sales via e-retail, more frictionless entrepreneurship. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.